YouTube channel, guys. Guys? No, this ain't gonna work. Very proud of myself. I'll show you some of this I made. For the very first time, I made me some beef and broccoli. But this is for work, so not for now. Oh yeah, so this. I got this Peak Design bag. So let's talk about it. All right, so I'm gonna do two things here today. I'm gonna to go over this bag here, but I'm also testing out this microphone here, which is the Shure MV7. We'll do a video on that later down the line after I do some more tests and see why I like it. Right now, this is a temporary solution I'm waiting for. Anyways, we got the video. The, this is the video. Today's video is about this Peak Design Tech Pouch, right? I take it to work every day. This will be a great travel accessory to bring with you when you're traveling. Oh, I, yeah, I gotta remember the mic. <laughs> Hopefully the audio is coming out decent. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Right now, I'm gonna go through this bag and tell you exactly what I carry in here. I'm gonna tell you right now, the ZV-1 is in here, so I'm gonna take that out first so I can do a top-down view of ZV-1. As you can see here, I have a lot of empty space. A Listerine strip. I have a lot of empty space, and this is where the ZV-1 is. Sometimes I keep some extra stuff also besides what I'm gonna show you today. You can uh, see inside here, there's a pen slot, actually two pen slots, but right now I only have one pen on this side, and I believe, yep, another pen on the opposite side. And here I also have my AirPods. You have a few extra pouches in here as well. I usually stash like cleaning cloths and stuff like this. You know, I usually have stuff like that in there. Here's a little magnet kickstand for my phone that I usually just drop in here somewhere. All right, so this is the cool thing about this design. They have a lot of different slots for where you can put your different cords. So I have a bunch of different cords for all my different items that I carry daily. And then inside this middle pocket, you can put something like maybe a small phone. Sometimes I have like a notebook, a notepad in there. They have some more organization inside with these little pouches here. At the bottom of this bag, I have my, some more listening strips and my comb for my beard. They have a zipper pocket here. Inside, I have some extra batteries for the ZV-1 and some SD cards. Oh, yeah, this thing, I started using this recently. Uh, again, I had this for a while now, but it's the uh, Insta360 Go. It's great, man. I used it for my vlog and I inserted a few clips. Here's a little magnet necklace that you wear with it. More cords. Here's a, a power bank. Comes in handy for when you don't have a wall to plug into. I got a little light as well. Super bright. You, you never know if you need that little extra light. Normally here, right beside my ZV-1, I usually have a travel adapter, which has three type A ports and also a type C port. You have UK plugs, you have European plugs, you have everything basically. So for we're traveling, that's why I said I think this is good for travelers. I'm gonna repack it how I normally would pack it, minus the ZV-1. So normally this will be here, comb, I usually throw it in the middle, Insta360 Go, and it's accessories, I just throw it here. Just keep the cables and these things in there, a couple of cables. This on this side, this on this side. This can sit right flush on top of that. A notebook. This little kickstand for the phone. This little adapter here for Allen wrenches and screwdrivers. Probably fit that in there. Try and get your audio game up. We could probably fit this in there. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use the RX100 as a placeholder so you can see that, you know, there's plenty of room. And then I can put these over there with that. Uh, still a lot of room. I can put a few Listerine strips, some keys, maybe some keys. And you can see it still closes fairly easily. But this is generally what I take daily. Obviously, you can make it conform to however you're going to use it. But yeah, yeah let me get these all closed. I put the Peak Design quick release strip so I can mount the strap on here. You know, I can just take this by itself. So yeah, that's been it for this video. This is a Peak Design tech pouch. It can fit a lot of stuff, not too bulky. If you guys want to know more about this and, and you want to see a full review of this product, let me know in the comment section down below. And until I get some more content out, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.